Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I'm sure you know last night was the Super Bowl. A bunch of trailers dropped, a bunch of TV spots, obviously, with the game during the commercial breaks. And one of those TV spots, one of those trailers, was for the new Pirates of the Caribbean 5, a.k.a. Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. Now, this movie has been announced for, like, four years. It's taken them all that time to make this thing. And uh, it's coming out, I believe, like, June or July or May or I don't even know. It's one of the it's one of the summer months, just big summer movie. I think it's May. Nah, whatever. Who cares? You guys don't care. Uh, but let's get into a breakdown of this trailer because I gotta tell you, this was my second favorite trailer, second favorite TV spot of the whole game. And that says a lot because number one, a lot of people are just tired of pirates. They don't want another one, they don't care about another one. They thought the last two sucked. Personally, the only one that I consider like a truly bad movie is the fourth one. Pretty much, though, I'll be real with you guys. I'm so excited for this just because uh, I, I I would consider Pirates of the Caribbean my guilty pleasure films, right? I just, obviously, they're, they they got pretty stupid after the first one, but I don't even care. I just love the concept, and I'll be real with you. J Jack Sparrow is probably one of my favorite movie characters uh, from the last decade. I just think there's something so original about him, and I think he kicked off a whole new era of a type of character. So really appreciate him. And I, re I really like Johnny Depp in that role. So without any further ado, let's just do this thing. So we start off the trailer with this kind of skeleton bird thing. Uh, and it appears on like a, it seems like a pleasant day, right? And on, on the on the seas of, you know, whatever sea they're on, the Caribbean, right? They're on the Caribbean. There's some random pirate ship. There's this skeleton bird that shows up. So this pirate dude, he's just like, all right, I must be hallucinating. Must have done too much of that weird pirate drug last night. Splashes some water on his face. And then he's like, oh, hey, it's gone right in his face. That, that's it, right? The skeleton birds, it's right in his face. And then cue a Johnny Cash song, which I can't say how perfect it felt that this song played, this song played in this trailer. They could have gone with that hardcore, I, I love it to death, the Hans Zimmer uh, Pirates of the Caribbean theme. That is probably one of my favorite movie themes ever. I think that is so good. Uh, they could have gone with that though, and I think it would have given off the vibes of the past ones. They chose this song carefully. Disney, look, I get it. They've they have they've had some downfalls recently. Alice in the Wonderland, uh, Alice in the Looking Glass apparently wasn't that good. I didn't even see that movie because I I didn't think it looked like anything good. They've had some downfalls, but if you do think about it, I think at this point they 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 have a very careful lens over it. They chose that song on purpose, and I think it really worked out well. Uh, I don't know the exact name of it. You guys can let me know in the comments. But uh, uh, you know, a lot of people are comparing that to the Logan trailer. Yeah, you know, the Logan trailer was pretty spectacular with that first Johnny Cash song, but I'm going to say this, it, it, it's music, and uh, I don't think you you should be able to assign specific songs, I mean, cer certain movie trailers have used like the same songs over and over again, and over and over again, but it, it all depends, like, songs are carefully picked, they're not picked on purpose uh, for, to, to like, you know, make people think that they're ripping off Logan, they're not, you know, Disney's not there, they're not like, yeah, let's use that Johnny Cash song because we want to make Fox look like shit. That wasn't it. They, they saw it and it fit really well. Uh, from there, we actually get some really, really interesting visuals. We, we see the silhouette shot of Captain Salazar. I'm so excited for him because I think this is your first scary Pirates of the Caribbean villain. Like, actually scary. You know, Davy Jones, yeah, he was menacing, threatening. Uh, Blackbeard, I don't even give a shit about him. Uh, and Barbosa's just a, I, I'd, I'd consider Barbosa is like an anti-hero. If you, if you want to consider Jack Sparrow as an anti-hero, then, you know, whatever's between uh, Jack Sparrow and a villain, I'd say, is where Barbosa falls. So the, you haven't had anybody truly scary. Uh, I'd say Salazar is that villain. And I think Har Javier Bardem is, I, from what I've seen from these trailers, he just looks like he's pissed and scary and that he's like, he, he, it seems like he will kill you. It does. It really does seem that way. And you see these really cool shots of him driving pirate ships or, you know, steering pirate ships with the explosions, uh, talking to people, dropped out, dropping down behind Barbosa. Barbosa's still in that weird powdery wig shit, and I believe he's... 
at the head of Blackbeard ship, if I recall correctly from the end of the fourth one. So uh, I'm, I'm curious as to maybe how the different ships, obviously the ships in Pirates of the Caribbean do play a substantial role. Uh, obviously that like that was the, they, they've been like major plot points for each film. And uh, I, I hope maybe, you know, they factor in Blackbeard ship somehow. I'm not really sure uh, in that sense. Uh, we have some amazing, I, I talked about the visuals. I'm going to talk about them again. You have this kind of like skeleton skeleton of a ship, which is kind of, I don't know what happened. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's underneath the water that made that happen. Was it the, those like weird skeleton death bird things? I don't know. Eating it. Who, who knows? Maybe it could be those, uh, the skeleton sharks, which were so cool also. Uh, but one scene I really want to point out, which I'm so excited for this also, uh, is we have this new character. I believe her, the name is Karina Smith. She's going to be an astronomer. She's played by that girl, uh, who was in, uh, the, the maze runner. She is like running on water and she makes it to shore but there you just see that skeleton death army just charging towards her and you actually see the shot through you they are actually running on water and you see that shot from below the water looking up at them such a really beautifully you know cinematographized or you know cinematography whatever the verb of that is it really worked well and you can only commend the cinematographers and obviously the director but uh really cool things there we get the return of Will Turner, and uh, you, obviously you have Will Turner. He is the new Davy Jones, quote unquote, right? He has taken up uh, Davy Jones's place and his ship. So you see that, like that, that kind of stuff growing on his face, uh, you know, moths and all that shells. And from what I've heard, he is going to be an anti-hero. So he is going to fall in more of that category, uh, I'd say, of Barbosa. Now, I don't know that for a fact. It'd be very interesting if, you know, he was a good guy. But uh, I think this is going to be really interesting because of how, how we, we once met Will Turner and how he's now. And uh, I think that's going to be very cool. You know, the, the image, of, I just love the idea of Orlando Bloom being back. I think you know the fourth one really took a downfall, partly because of that. There, there's many reasons why that movie wasn't good. Uh, but I think that you know he is part of this franchise. I think he deserves to be in that. Uh, we don't get any of Brenton Thorn or something like that. I forget his last name, but he is playing a character known as Henry. A lot of people are speculating that this is going to be the son of uh, Will Turner. And Elizabeth, now I don't know if that's true, it would make sense, but also, you know, you don't know if that's true. We don't get to see any of him in there, um, but just a ton of action, ton of this this really majestic looking pirate ships and wars, and uh, just the water looks gorgeous, and at the very end, you hear Jack Sparrow go, pirate's life, and he's he's got the sand and oil and mud all over him, and uh, I, I love Jack Sparrow, it's just great having him back. The way that they're, they're making this trailer seem a lot the way these characters are speaking about him and his hat is that Jack Sparrow is more of a myth now it's like he 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 was a myth then he existed then he really existed and now he's a myth again if that makes sense you, if you, that will make sense to you guys if you've seen the previous four Pirates movies uh, so I'm actually not expecting them to headline Jack Sparrow as much Although, although if you, uh, you you do see that first poster that they released, the first technical poster, it is Jack Sparrow saying "Pirates' Life," right? Dead men tell no tales. So uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure the way they're gonna market this, uh, but I don't even care. I really think this is a beautifully crafted trailer. Uh, I'm so pleased with this trailer, and uh, it, it's a more on a fun kind of lighter to tone inside uh, rather than uh, the first teaser trailer we got, which was obviously about Captain. And Salazar, it had that kind of scary accordion music in the background. It was very dark, um, but uh, very cool things. I really enjoyed this trailer. What did you guys think about it, and what are your thoughts on Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, I know it's getting a little dry and stale, but I'm hoping that this, this movie is able to breathe a new life into this franchise, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see it. We are definitely getting a sixth one after this as well, just a heads up. Probably coming in 2020, so they are winding down. I'm just going to enjoy this for what it is. You know, dumb fun, right? So can't wait for that. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any other requests for Super Bowl trailers within the next day or two. Uh, I'd be happy to do them. I'm Ryder, signing off with Infinite Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.